So how does an antisocial mind develop? Well, it's, we're really talking about somebody who can sometimes feel no sense of connection with other people at all. Some people, not all, have very poor mood or affect regulation, so that they are literally feeling and acting without thinking. They're literally overwhelmed by feelings a lot of the time. But there is this interesting group of people who seem to have thoughts with no feeling. Um, and, I'm, and I'm not going to say very much more about, about them. These are the people who are sometimes known as psychopaths. Um, and although they're very uncommon, um, the people who really have thinking with no feeling are actually extremely rare. And what's interesting is, is that, they're, they're, of course, they're, they're a high-risk group if they're combined with some of these other risk factors. And what we sometimes see are people who can oscillate between states of mind where they're full of feeling and states of mind where they have no, no feeling at all. So something very fragmented and unstable is a high-risk mind.